Okay, this is a beast. First of all, they tell me a couple of things. Consumption C gallons per hour is directly proportional to the square of the speed of the car. So if it's directly proportion, proportional, it equals K times R squared. K is just the, the constant, you know, it's direct proportionality. Uh, you know, in general, something is always two times something else, something is always three times something else. That K is two or three. It's just the, the constant that expresses the proportionality rate. Another important thing here is we, if we want to know, like, fuel used, f fuel consumed in terms of, like, gallons, what is that? That equals, like, the rate at which you consume things, which in this case is going to be C, <laughs> times the time that it runs for. If you think about because it, it's, like, something C gallons over one hour is the rate that times the time of so-and-so hours. Notice hours cancels and we're left with just gallons. So the C times the time, the rate of consumption times the time is going to tell me how many gallons I use. That's going to be important. So I know the rates in all of these. I, they give me the rates for the first leg is 40, and the second leg is 20, and then for the, the, the one in question is 30. So I know like what I'm going to plug in here each time I look for that. Uh, you know, what I need to get is K, and, and in order to get that, also what I need to get is T. So for the first leg, it's 4 fifth D equals 40 times T1. I need to get that time. So divide by 40. That cancels D over 50 equals T1. Then for the second leg, 1 fifth D equals 20 times T2. Divide by 20. It's going to be D over 100 equals T2. So I got those. <laughs> now they tell me they used, after they did all this, they used 45 gallons of fuel. So the fuel used of 45 gallons, that should equal, uh, you know, the, the, the rate times the time plus the rate times time for each leg of the journey. So that's going to be K times, the C part of it, for the first leg is k times the rate was 40 squared then that times the time which i got was d over 50 and that plus the second leg is going to be the rate k that we don't know or sorry the, the constant k that we don't know times the rate squared which was 20 squared times the time notice i'm putting i'm just putting together c, this c here is k times r squared it's k times r squared, times the time I got, which is d over 100. So then I just need to do this math out. Okay, it's 40 times 40. That simplifies to fourth fifths. 5 into 40 is 8. So that's uh, 8 times 4 is, oh my gosh, 32kd, plus this is 20 times 20. 20 into 100, 5 times, 5 into 20 is 4, plus 4kd, four so that's 45 equals 36kd, so solving for k, k equals 45 over 36d, and that will simplify to 5 over 4d. Okay, Let me erase some of this so I can do it, because now I got k, so I got this part of it. And I do have the rate part of it, which is going to be 30 miles an hour. I need, in order to get fuel, so I basically have C, but in order to get fuel used, I need the time for that last leg. So the last leg, we do the distance at 30 times T. So T is, of course, D over 30. So now I can put this together to get the fuel used, C times T. So C, the fuel used is going to equal C times t, so uh, k times r squared, so my k was 5 over 4d times r squared, the rate was 30 squared, times the time of d over 30. So 130 will cancel, d will cancel, and then uh, 5 fourths of 30, I mean a quarter of 30, is 7.5, because half of 30 is 15, so half of that is 7.5, and five times so, uh, 7.5 is gonna equal 37.5. Whew, done.